Hi, welcome. So today I wanted to do a core workout. I know a lot of us want stronger abs, stronger, stronger back. So that is what I'm here to do for you today. All right, so we're gonna get started by holding onto the water bottles. So you don't have to have water bottles or weights for these if you don't wish to, okay? It is only for this exercise um, that you'll need them and then otherwise we'll be doing it without anything. But if you'd like to, you can have the water bottles in your hands or weights in your hands and we're just going to be sitting up straight back is flat back is off the backrest to challenge ourselves more and we're just going to reach down and come back up so i want you to think about picking up a large water bottle on the floor okay so it's like it's a big water jug i should say we want it to be something heavier that we're pretending to be lifting up and sitting up straight again so reaching down Sitting up straight, concentrating on your core the whole time, allowing that the abdominal muscles to pull you back up. Keep going. And you've just got one more on each side. Excellent. Okay, for the next one, you can do it without weights or you can have the water bottles. So if you have the water bottles, that's great. You can just put them in between your hands. Now what I want you to do is just twist to the right. So twist to the right as you're looking that way, come back center and twist to the left. So again, concentrating on those abdominals, making those abdominals work and coming back center. That's three. Four. We're going up to eight. This is six. I'm going back out to the side. And one more on each side. Last time to the other side. Excellent. So we're going to put those water bottles down. Actually, I'm going to put mine out of the way. And we're going to do a knee raise. So you're going to be sitting on the front of your chair. So maybe I'll turn my chair so you can see me better. So sitting on the edge of your chair, you're going to lean back into the chair. And I want you just to bring that knee up. So if you need to, you can have your hands help. So if you do so, have your hands under your knee to lift up. But if you don't need to, sitting back, lifting that knee up, concentrating on those abdominals and bring that leg down. Switching to the other side, concentrating on those abs, bring that leg back down and two. So your back is flat here. This is four. Four more on each side. Six. And last one on each side. Excellent. So sitting back up straight, we are going to, I'm going to turn my chair. Actually, I'll leave my chair like this so you'll be able to see just as well. Um, we'll have our hands behind our head. Now what I want you to do again, you're still sitting in that same position. I want you to lean back into that chair and pull yourself forward, going a little bit more forward and then going back again. So leaning into that chair, pulling yourself forward, making your abdominals do the work. You don't want your shoulders to be jerking you forward. So make those abs work, pulling you forward. And then making that back and the abs work to go back again. Now, if this is hard with your arms, arms behind your head, you can also do it this way. 
okay if that's more if that's easier for you or better for your back or better for your arms then you can choose to do it this way too just main thing is not allowing your shoulders to pull you forward making your abs do the work and i believe we have just one more excellent good okay for the next one we're going to do a side crunch so arms are at the side and you're just going to crunch down to the side going back to center and crunching down to the other side so you're not going far you're just going a tiny bit allowing your abdominals to bring you back up you can see your back should be straight your back is obviously off the the back of the chair And you've got three more on each side. Continue to do this slowly. You do not want to be rushing with these exercises. It's really important to have good posture and to be doing them slowly. Last time. Excellent, good. Okay, Last, uh, next one is leg kicks. So again, sitting on the edge of your chair, leaning back into the chair, and you're going to have the feet up so it's like you're swimming, okay? So bring your legs up and you're just flutter kicking. Now, if that's too difficult, you can do one leg at a time. You can bring one leg up, drop the other foot, because your abdominals are still working here. Like I can feel my abs working here just with doing it this way. If you wanna make it more challenging, then just do double legs. So just continuing to do this, whichever way you decide is best for you, and kicking those legs. Keeping those abs strong, your back is straight. Okay, and bringing those feet down, pulling yourself back up. And our last one is uh, bringing the knees up to the chest. So again, you're leaning back into the chair and you're just gonna bring those feet up as far as you can and then back down. Now again, if this is too hard, just do one leg at a time. If it's too difficult, you're just gonna do it this way and then bringing that leg back down. If that's too easy, then you can bring both, both knees up, touch the floor and then bring them up again. And if you feel that your back is starting to come off the chair, then it's too difficult and switch to do, doing single legs. You just got one more after this one. And that's it, sitting up straight. And that is it for the abs. So we're just gonna do a few little stretches. I just want you to round your back. So think of being a cat to your rounding your back and then you're looking forward a little bit up, sticking the chest out, and then rounding that back again. So rounding as much as you can, like a cat stretching. Coming forward, breathing out, breathing in as you stretch, and breathing out. One more time. And is it excellent all right i hope you enjoyed that um write some comments if you have anything to say if there's if there are any other type of classes that you would like to see i'd love to hear from you okay great have a good day bye for now